Grand Rising. This is Urban T tapping in. Hey Noah, bring you the info. Love, love, my family. How we all doing? My nationers, what is up? Let's get to this topic. Let's get to this topic. This is this topic has been bothering me. And I thought I, I was gonna let it go, but it just still is it's just like a gnat. It just keep on, you know, in my ear. This is about the hypothetical question that these women are putting out. Man or bear? The hypothetical question that went viral on TikTok. The question asking whether women would rather be stuck out in the woods with a bear or a man because they think men are abusive or might hurt them or something kind of like that, sparking this whole outrage and this kind of thing, and then people are upset. And I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little disturbed by this too. A little upset, disturbed by this too, because I'm gonna start off with this. We, 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 we're kind of losing reality here. Like just reality. A bear will kill you and eat you. There was just re recently there was just a bear attack just recently. Or somebody got ate up. So this whole thing we got this country have gotten so comfortable with treating men badly and disrespecting us so badly. Even to the point where we don't even appreciate the hard work that we do. Like a lot of the men who work hard every day go outside and put their hands in the dirt. You know what I'm saying? And to say that a man is more violent than a bear is insane. Because a lot of y'all women, if, if something goes down, y'all are quick to call a man over to help. Y'all quick to call a man over when, when it comes to something like that. Everybody's violent. People are violent, not just men in general. It ain't just men. It's everybody violent. Women are violent. There's stories right now. There's plenty of stories out there. Women doing horrible things and manipulating things. You know what I'm saying? So for, for a lot of y'all to say that they'd rather be out in the woods with the bears is insane to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's just insane. Y'all y'all, y'all losing it. There shouldn't be no hypothetical. Cause there shouldn't be no joke. It's not funny. Because realistically, a bear would rip, rip your face off. You'll run to a man for an emergency. Y'all know y'all run to it. Y'all any type of man. It don't matter who it is. Any type of man. If you're in danger by something or someone or by another man, you're going to run to another man for protection to help you. You're gonna run to a policeman. You're gonna run to some, you're gonna run to somebody. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, we're kind of losing common sense. You know what I'm saying? It's common. It's common sense now. We're starting to get go outside common sense with a lot of different things, and this is one of them. You know what I'm saying? We know like, there's a lot of men out there. There's a lot of men out there who are creeps, who are dangerous, who are but not all, not not the majority. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us are good men out here. We work hard every day. Come home, a lot of men who's married, take care of their family. Not. So for you to say stuff like that, you're ignorant. And this whole the whole thing, I don't know where, like I said, this was based off a TikTok thing. Now I don't know if it's just trying to be funny, but a lot of things, I think the problem with this, I think a lot of stuff too is going on is the no accountability. Just saying things that's way out there and letting it ride out. Just saying crazy stuff and letting it ride, and we can't let that happen. As men and as y'all women, letting other women saying crazy things. Y'all have to put other women in check too for saying nut stuff. I've had young girls say that they don't need men and men are useless in society and all this kind of stuff. And, and like I said, we need each other. We need each other. Don't get me wrong. I'm. I'm I, I want y'all to be powerful and have y'all things too. And I want. But we need each other to survive. Like Japan, right now, I, I did an article on this. They, they're literally having dating apps. They, try, uh, they already had dating apps, but they're trying to get dating apps part of the government to start promoting uh, marriage and ha having kids. They're, they're, li they're literally about to die off over there. Because I guess the women over there, the women and men over there ain't seen eye to eye and things going on. And it's happening in America. It's gonna America getting there, trust me. So, like I said, we're just saying a whole bunch of we're just saying a whole bunch of stupid stuff, man. And I, I it, like I said, this has been bothering me. It's another other thing that bothered me, but this one right here, this took, this I had to say something about this. 
And I don't know what you guys feel about this thing. So I don't know if you even heard about this. This TikTok hypothetical question. Like I said, a lot of men hearing this is like common sense. Like you're not gonna be, you don't wanna pick a bear over us. But kind of like I said, it's, it's, we losing common sense now. Plain and simple. If you see a bear and a man, if men see a man and a bear, we run into the man. Plain and simple. We run, we're, we're running to the man too. That's what I'm saying. So this is like I said, I don't know what's going on with with these things. And you gotta let, and you have to really, like I said, start taking responsibility for yourself and your actions and what y'all saying. We need each other. We do need each other to survive. And not just for survival, we need each other. I'm not afraid to say that. A lot of women, a lot of women are afraid to say that they need a man. You know what I'm saying? Just need, just need somebody to talk to, and then we all need each other. It's okay to say it, but work on yourself first. A lot, a lot of us, we the problem is we we go seek each other out before we work on ourselves. So we're looking for stuff in people. I hope I'm not mumbling. I hope I'm not uh, babbling. You know, so I'll be thinking I'm babbling a lot. But we seek a lot of stuff in other people that we don't have in us. Instead of working on ourselves, that's the whole you know point of working on ourselves to get to find somebody. And usually we get in relationships and it don't work out a certain way or it goes crazy because that's a the other person is a reflection of you. So I understood that myself, not my relationships. So you gotta be stronger. You gotta deal with it. But off that. But like I said, this is getting out of hand with these hypotheticals and making making it seem like all men are violent and creepy and all this. No, even even going back to even going back to the feminism and the, um, the, the just being a man, just being a man. Men is protection. That's plenty. I've had women come to me, disrespect disrespect me, treat me badly. But when things got out of hand, they run to they run to me for help. See what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. This is this is the kind of stuff that we dealing with. And sometimes you gotta let people know, like, look, you can't keep treating me this way and treating me a certain way and think I'm gonna still help you out. As a good man, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do it because that's why I'm a good man. But don't keep pushing it. So like I said, this this is really like I said, this is the thing that's been bothering me for a while. I just wanted to get it out. Hope hope I got my message across. This third party, and that's it. Hope y'all got something from this.